Where does information go and where does it come from? How does it circulate? Is it possible for states to ensure that other countries don't snoop on their data? In 2014, it's estimated that the number of internet users in the world will grow to some 2.4 billion. The United States, only 5% of the global population, controls 30% of world traffic on the internet. The world map of web movement reveals some geopolitical statistics. 80% of online traffic in Latin America, 40% in Asia, and a large important part of Europe passes through the United States. Without counting its Five Eyes allies, the Electronic Espionage Alliance is made up of the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. In Latin America, internet users must pay triple for internet service compared to their North American neighbors. While only making up 11% of worldwide internet users, Latin America and the Caribbean pay 40% of the global cost for internet. To bring an end to this hegemony, UNICER proposes the creation of a digital ring at a cost of $60 billion, with completion expected before the year 2020. The electronic consolidation of a diverse world leads to the connection of faraway countries. For example, the countries of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, which form the economic association known as BRICS, are planning a 34,000-kilometer fiber-optic connection.